Welcome to the Athlete Brand Advisor Podcast, featuring advice and interviews about athlete branding. Learn how marketing, public relations, and broadcasting can grow your brand. We also have special episodes to talk about recent news, events, and anything in the world of sports. The podcast is sponsored by Pliable a versatile marketing, PR, and broadcasting company that identifies opportunities and creates tailored content for its clients. Now it's time to roll. Here's your host, Greg Glenn. Thanks and welcome to the Athlete Brand Advisor Podcast, where we're always ready to roll. In studio today, I've got a great guest with me. She's my daughter, and she's also my business advisor. Kelsey Glynn, age 10, is with me. Kels, how you doing? Good. Um, Today we're going to be rating NFL logos. That's right. As you can see, Kelsey loves broadcasting. She also loves branding and uh, provides a lot of different insights. Uh, One thing when you think about branding is... There's no one more authentic or genuine in their response or unfiltered response than a 10-year-old. <laughs> so uh, that's what we're going to get today. We're going to get to hear some really cool insights uh, from Kelsey on her thoughts on all of the NFL logos. So this is going to be a really interesting episode. She's going to share some of her thoughts on the design, the layout, um, and we're going to kind of grade them. Uh, So that'll be a a fun thing for you to listen to. So you can go to nfl.com slash teams and you'll be able to follow along with us. We're going to go with the NFC teams first in alphabetical order, and then we'll do the AFC teams in alphabetical order. All right, Kels. So uh, first up is going to be the Arizona Cardinals. So um, I give the Cardinals like a four because they did two outlines, which I don't like, and it looks like it's about to peck your head off. <laughs> it does look like it's about ready to peck your head off. Uh, I I like it in the sense that it's simplistic. Uh, I think it has enough anger without being too angry. There are more logos we'll talk about that are going to be, I think, a little bit angrier than this one. Uh, but this this works well. It can be used in a lot of different uh, applications. So I'm going to give it uh, about a four. I'm going to give it about a four, okay? I also don't think that it looks like a cardinal. What do you think? It looks like a parrot? I don't know. It just looks like a red bird that doesn't look like a cardinal. Oh, yeah. Not not cardinal-ish enough for yeah. you. It's like a an an- really angry cardinal. Yeah. Okay. And I, you know what? The, the color of the red also, you know, I think cardinals are a little more bright red. Yeah. Okay. All right. That's uh, the Arizona Cardinals. We're on to the Atlanta Falcons. Kels and I both feel strongly about this one. <laughs> Well, it's outlined in two different colors. Yep. That's one thing that I don't like. Yep. It also kind of looks like the Seattle Seahawks logo on the top. And it does Oh, the the, uh, kind of the hawk-looking mouth. Yep. And then it doesn't look like a falcon. It just looks like a bunch of random lines. Oh, the... You don't like the arc and the angle of those wings like the flap yeah i can see what you're saying with that i I also agree with you there's a lot going on with the the flapping of that wing and i particularly don't like the claw the claw doesn't do enough for me i get what they were trying to do like with the f they tried to make it look like an f but it's just not that impressive i'll give it a three um i'll give it a four okay that's very nice of you uh (laughs) All right, so we've got the Carolina Panthers next. Uh, What are you thinking here, Kels? There's, like, a bunch of random blue lines in it that I don't like. Like, there's, like, on the side, there's, like, one random little blue line that's kind of annoying because it it doesn't really do anything. Mm. And, like, the whiskers, like, on one side they made them blue and one side they made them black, so that's kind of weird. And it doesn't really look like a... I, I, I've never, you know what? That's a great point. I don't think I've ever seen a multicolored, whiskered panther. Like, <laughs> you, you either have black whiskers or you have blue whiskers. I mean, I've never even seen a panther with blue whiskers, but that's beside the point. You, you really wouldn't ever find a panther with two different sets of whiskers. Yeah. Okay. So it's kind of weird, and like one of the ears doesn't even look like it's connected. <laughs> it does look like he kind of like had his ear bitten and off. And one eye. And one eye, yeah, out there it's kind of like floating. But again, that gets back to your point about now 
you've talked before about outlines. I know how you feel strongly about not having two outlines. This one, they're trying to have one outline, but because it's outlined in blue and it's on a light blue background, that takes away from the quality of the logo. Yeah. So that's another thing for these teams to consider is like when you put it up against a color that might be one of your colors in your style guide, all of a sudden you've lost your outline like in the Panthers version. So, all right, um, I'll give it a, like I said, I think there's some good aggressiveness here to the Panther. I think they've tried to do some things like you talked about the blue lines. They're trying to create some depth, but yeah, those teeth to me, yeah, I'll, I'll give it a three and a half. It also kind of looks like a cat, <laughs> like a, a very angry cat. Well, that's what I mean. That's what a panther is, you know. But it, it, it a very angry house cat. Maybe you're thinking. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I can see that. All right. So, wh what number are you giving that one? Um, three. Three. Okay. Mm. All right. Now this next one, you know, da bears. Uh, I know we both feel pretty strongly about this one as well. What do you got, Kels? It doesn't. It doesn't remind me of anything about the Bears. <laughs> it just, it's just a C. It is. It is. It stands for Chicago, obviously. Um, but the, there's no sign of bear. No, there. there's no sign of bears anywhere. No bears jumping out of that <laughs> sea anywhere. Um, but what's interesting to me, and I, I noticed this was when Kelsey and I started looking more closely at these NFL logos, that the C doesn't come all the way around. The top part of the C is actually brought back a little bit. And it's not like symmetrical. And then they've got this little point off at the middle. I'm not really quite sure there. That's more of like a design accent piece. But it, but it, it doesn't it, really do anything. Yeah, it, it doesn't really do anything. So they might as well just have a regular C and move on. <laughs> <laughs> so one thing I did let Kelsey know is there there is a secondary mark uh, that the bears do use that looks more a lot like a bear. That is their bear. Uh, but it but, still looks pretty bad. <laughs> and they don't use it. So when a ten year old sees a Chicago Bears logo and it's just a C. That's really not attractive to you, is it? But I did see the old bear thing that is actually a bear, and I still don't think it looks good. <laughs> All right, I'm going. I'm going two and a half on this one. One. Oh wow! <laughs> All right, now you save save some ratings for the Cowboys logo because here comes the Dallas Cowboys. This one's going to be interesting. What What are you thinking? I'm thinking that it's just a star that doesn't relate to anything. Cowboys. I mean, I I can see what you're saying. To me, it kind of reminds me more of Christmas than anything else. Yeah, it kind of does. But, <laughs> like, it's blue and white. If they would have made it red and white, it would have looked a lot more like Christmas. Right. Agreed. But, I mean, I, you could put that on the top of your tree if you really wanted. Yeah. Uh -uh. And it's also got two kind of weird outlines. Like, they're not right next to each other. Mm. And they're the same color. Yes. And the, and the inside outline is bigger than the outside outline, which is kind of weird. Oh, okay. I see what you're saying. Yep. Yeah. Okay. All right. It's so, like thicker. I mean, I'll give this like, uh, now I have to be honest and say that there's a lot of tradition with this logo. They haven't changed it. You know what I mean? Like we're going to get to other logos with, that have been changed and altered. This one has pretty much stayed the same. So I think that's one of the reasons why it resonates with people. Uh, but... Really, if I were to say, let's start out with a team logo, and I showed you this, eh, not so much. I'd g I'll give it a, I'll give it a two. That's what I was gonna say. I'll okay. give it a two. I'll give it a two. Okay. Next up is the Detroit Lions. Uh, the Lions logo, in many cases, is better than their team. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this year, at least. This year, yeah, that is true. Uh, and so, what I, what I told Kelsey on this one was that th about a few years ago, they had a lion that looked very similar to this, but it actually looked more just like a blob of blue paint that spilled. They have since updated it. They've made it more modern. They've added some depth uh, with some lines and some features inside the line, which is nice. Uh, but it still looks like a blob of blue paint. It was just painted into a lion. So it, it, it does still look that way. I, it is a major improvement from what they had before. Yes. So I'm going to give them some kind of points on effort. So I'll give them, I'll give them a f six. I'll give them a six. I was going to go with five, but I'm going to give them a six. Um, five. Five. Okay. Because it's not like horrible. 
It's not horrible, no. It's not horrible. So you're calling it basically just average with a yeah. five. Okay, now I can see where you're going with that. Next up is, uh, speaking of tradition, we talked about the Cowboys, but let's talk about the Green Bay Packers. This is this has been a little bit of controversy uh, surrounding this logo. So I, do you want it? Yep, you, you can point out what you noticed. Go ahead. I noticed that the Georgia Bulldogs have the exact same logo, mm. which is kind of weird because they basically took it yeah uh, we even looked up who had it first and it was the green bay packers yep by by a year we found out that they 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 had this logo first and then uh, georgia did kind of do their own version of this it is extremely similar as you'll see if you bring up the green bay packers logo and you see the georgia bulldogs logo you will see that they are very similar from a design perspective, you will see there's a, some slight differences in the G and the arcs of the G, but for the most part, they took their logo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be honest. Now, I've also seen a lot of high school teams like use the G. It is a very common G that you'll see. Uh, so the, the Packers really started it all. I don't see anything here that's tremendously unique. Uh, it is pretty original. They obviously haven't changed it uh, in, in more than, gosh, we're going on now, you know, 60 years. Um, so, four and a half. <laughs> <laughs> um, I did like what they outlined it in that color. The yellow. You like yeah. the yellow. I agree with that. That also has the color of the yellow, which is their cheese yeah. heads. So, And they also have yellow helmets, and so that plays well. What are you thinking on a number? Um, four. Four. Oh, I thought they get a little higher than that, but okay. All right, here come the L.A. Rams. Now, Kelsey likes the Rams, so let that be known before we start. Uh, I particularly... I, I like the curvature of the ram and the horn. Some people might not see that, mummy. Uh, <laughs> but what we do notice is that they have the horn coming off of the A. I don't like the fade. I don't like how it goes from white to yellow. That's very times in, in design world, it can be hard to replicate that, especially when you're doing a stitched logo or anything like that. So I always advise against the fade. Kels, I know you like the fade. Um. Well, the LA Rams have a fade on all their numbers that they put on their jerseys. Yes, which, which I, I also really don't like. like. <laughs> I have a different opinion. Yes, you do. I really like it. Yeah. Um, but I... The... Like the horns, they're not as like they're not that clear, but at the same time they're kind of clear. Right. It's they could have made it more clear, like somehow. Right. It's not the best way that they could have designed. I'm it. sure someone spent a lot of time thinking about because I was looking at that as well, and I was thinking maybe they could have come off the L instead. But then it would have made it not look at, like it was going forward. It would have liked to look like the ram horn was going backward, which when you design logos, you really want everything to be moving from left to right, ideally, which we'll notice in the next one, which is the Vikings. You always want to be kind of looking forward or looking to the right. So I think that's what they were trying to do here with the angle coming off of the, the ram horn with the A, because then they can go from, you know, right to left and it's facing to the right well it also the l is right over the horn right now so do not, you like that or no i do not like that it makes it a little less clear oh okay it's covering it right yeah. i see what you're saying okay where could they have put that l otherwise though i mean maybe back it up a little right and space it out yeah maybe make it a little longer that's one thing, too, about logos. You have to really try to keep them, I like to say, in a box. Because if you go outside the box, it really can make it harder when you're putting it on a website or you're trying to put it in, you know, like I said, stitching or you're doing something with it. Then if you make it not in a box shape, it can really make it more difficult to design things with it. So let's go on to the next one, which kind of um, this speaks to what we were talking about before about always looking forward this is the minnesota vikings so what do you what do you no, we didn't grade the, the the rams so let's i'm gonna go i'm gonna go back to the rams before we move on i want to go with a four on this i would have given them a seven had they not had the fade i mean if the, imagine if they didn't have the fade that would look pretty good i think it would look pretty bad 
<laughs> so, um... Well, if it looks so good to you, what are you going to give it for a number? Five. Wow, you're only giving them a five. Mainly five and a half. Okay. All right, you are a tough critic. <laughs> All right, we're on to the Minnesota Vikings. Vikings, uh, we've had a little bit of discussion about this one before. This one, to me, it has some certainly tradition associated with it. I think it does look like a Viking. It's kind of got that motif. The problem I have with this one is actually on the ratio of the eyebrow to the nose. So the eyebrow here is about two times the size of his nostril. Um, and it, it just seems very disproportionate in the nose and chin area compared to his eye and his eyebrow. And then the mustache is quite long, which I get, you know, the Vikings, they, they had long mustaches and beards and all that. This one doesn't have a beard at all. Interestingly enough, he actually has a really pronounced chin, um, and then the hair, as we've said before, it kind of just flows out in the breeze and goes out into nowhere. Yeah, it's kind of, like, long, too. It is long. And he's got the braid. I mean, do you like that braid? Would you like your hair braided like that? Well, I usually have my hair braided like that. But, um... But, like, off the side of your head? No. Okay. I usually have it in the back. And how do you feel about his horns? You, you, We talked about the horns with the rams. How do you feel about his horns? His horns kind of look, like weird because it almost looks like they just made a guy and then just put a hat on him that had horns on it. Eh, that's about what they did. So it's called <laughs> a Viking hat. <laughs> All right. Now we're on to the New Orleans Saints. It looks kind of weird. Okay. Well, there's, there's some history behind it. So I think that's important for you to know. So this is what's called a fleur de lis. And this is actually a symbol that's deeply ingrained in New Orleans history and it's actually seen in architecture it's also on their state flag and obviously on the helmets of the Saints but there's meaning in their culture because there's a lot of French people that understand what this means and how important it is to their history how does that now feel to you fine I guess <laughs> so anyway I think that is an important note from a branding perspective is that you want to pick something that means something to your people or to your culture, to your fan base, that but gives also it. But it means someone to something else. I mean, it's to something else. Right. Or maybe they need to do a better job of educating people. Yeah. Because, like, here you are at 10 years old and you look at the thing and it, it looks like a water fountain. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. So it's important to tell your brand story, but also the story behind your logo. So good one. All right. Uh, what are you going to grade this? <laughs> okay, it's a rousing one out of you. I, I'm going to give it a four. I think that they do need to do more education uh, with people to have, make them understand like what this is all about. Because they, they try. They, they have some good things here, but it, it just needs but to But for yeah. somebody who watches and then has no clue what that is, then... then no thank you. No thank you. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, so there you go. That leads us nicely into the New York Giants. New York Giants, uh, told Kelsey about this one, how they used to have the word Giants uh, as their older uh, logo and word mark. Now they just went with the lowercase n and the lowercase y. And I'm not sure why. It has a long why. tail. It has a very long tail. Uh, we're not quite sure on why. We, I also kind of can see the long y being almost like a, a train route uh, because New York has all the trains and the subway system. It kind of looks like that, but that's a really big stretch. So unless someone else can give me a good reason of why this is a lowercase n and a y, and why they have such a long y uh, a tail, I, I just don't see it. I'd prefer the old logo. Yeah, I like the old logo better because it actually got across that it's the Giants because there's also the New York Jets. Yes. So you could get those two logos very confused. Yep, I could agree with that. I could agree with that. And the other thing that I think is important to know is that – when you look at this, it's not even, I mean, I guess maybe they could be trying to get into like New York, New Jersey-ish, because if you look close enough, maybe that long Y makes a J because they play in New Jersey, 
which is a whole nother topic. Yeah. <laughs> how, Kels, well, real quickly, how do you feel on the fact that they play in New Jersey? I do not like that. And here's what I think should happen. What? They should make one team New Jersey and one team New York. Yeah. I, I completely agree. I think it. I don't think it's fair that New York has two teams and neither of them play in the state of New York, which is a very large state. Uh, but I understand that that's where obviously a lot of people are in from the city and there's a huge population. We've had this conversation here about how many millions of people live in New York City and so you want to have them come to the games. We get that. But let's be honest, they play in New Jersey. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so I'm giving the Giants uh, a two. I'm not seeing that one. One. Okay, one. <laughs> Philadelphia Eagles uh, coming in next. Uh, we've got an eagle here. Looks angry. Now, in this one, they've decided actually to not go forward-facing, at least uh, on this website here. They've made it go backwards to the left. I don't like that at all. I really don't like how they made a huge black bold outline. Uh, in the back there of the head. Yeah. yeah that, it's an angry it's an angry eagle. I like the eye. I think the eye is really good. It's detailed. Yeah, it adds a lot of like De angry. Anger, anger. I, I, anger was coming to my mind as well. Yeah. He's, he really got a curved beak on that thing. I mean, look at the curvature on the beak. Also, like, it looks kind of weird because, like, on the top part of the beak, there's, like, a little tiny, like, curve. And then on the bottom, it's just, like, straight. Straight. Uh, yeah. How would you close your mouth? Yeah. Yeah. That that would be interesting. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go, because I like the detail. This is definitely a more detailed logo. I'm going to go with a six. Um, yeah, I'll have to go with a six. Okay. The only reason I don't give it better is because if you are going to stitch this logo, the detail does get lost a little bit, especially when you get that tight on that eye. Um, and then you've got some uh, feather Shadow. feathering shadows and everything going on. So I, I that's the only reason I don't give it. Okay, Grammy would be happy that we're going to do this one. We'll have to see what she thinks of our grade here. San Francisco 49ers. What do you think here on the San Francisco 49ers? I feel like they could have put a 49 <laughs> instead of S. F. Right, which obviously stands for San Francisco, right? Yeah. But they could have put like somewhere in there a little 49. I would have liked to have seen more gold since the 49ers, that they're kind of gold diggers, yeah. like that kind of thing. They, they dig for gold. So I, I would have liked to have seen maybe more some some gold. And I think they maybe could have done that with like the F or something to maybe make like a gold block. Uh, they again went with the oval approach. We're seeing a lot of ovals, like, yeah. you know, Green Bay going with the oval. Um, and so I think that this one, again, back to the oval, I'm going to have to go with like a four. Um, I'm going to go with a three because I feel like it's just kind of like, I also really don't like how the S, S goes over the F. the F. Yeah, I don't like that either. That's, I, 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 that was kind of holding me back from a five and it, it doesn't look very good like that. It, yeah. They could have been more creative. It kind of looks like an afterthought. Like, oh, let's put an S on top of this up. So uh, so that's that one. I know I like this next one. So I'm going to go. This is Seattle Seahawks. I like this a lot. I think that it deserves. This is pretty. They've had this logo a long time. They've adjusted it. They've adjusted their colors. I'm going to go like six on this. I really don't like. Their, one of their main colors is green. All they really did for the green was they just put it in the eye. Yeah, yeah. They really didn't do much for the green. I mean, I feel like they put more gray in there than they did green. Right. I, I would have liked to actually seen, you know what, you bring up a good point. I would have liked to have seen the green where the gray is on the actual body of the Seahawk and put the gray in where the eye is. I think that might have made a little more sense. Although I think they're probably going for like the anger in the eye to make it green. Yeah, I mean, I guess. I know, I know. I can see what you're saying, but I, I, it would be, it would be interesting to see a version if they had, if they were considering that, to do that by swapping the gray and the green with the eye. I like the beak. This is one of the best beaks in the NFL. Do you yes. agree with that? I, I, I like I also the beak. Like how it hangs down. That's hangs kind of down, cool. right? Exactly. And this one, he can actually close his mouth. Uh, Not like the other one we saw that. Yes, the the mouth. Philadelphia Eagles uh, eagle looks like he might struggle to close his mouth completely. <laughs> uh, so so this one, like we said, um, I, I like that one. I, I, I like that one. Um, did you give it a number? No. Okay. Um, I'll give it. 
A six. Okay, very nice. So, so the Seahawks right now are the leader in the clubhouse, which is interesting. Well, and they're tied with I think somebody else. Oh, really? Um, I think they're tied with. The... Well, you liked you liked the um. Well, we liked the Lions one. We both liked that one, and you liked the Rams a lot, but you still only gave them like a five. So okay, so let's go now next uh onto the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Which he really likes. Yeah, I mean you know that I'm gonna like the Buccaneers. I like Tom Brady. Uh so but I also like this logo. I think it's now they used to have like a real Buccaneer and uh that was that was back when they had the uh crush orange. This one is good. I like the sword as the uh flag stick. I also like the buccaneer and the um, the cross that they've got going in the flag. I like the ruffled look to the flag. I don't think this would look nearly as good if it was just a plain, ordinary flag. It's got that look like it's been on the sea uh, for a while. And I like the skull. Um, the football in there eh, might be a little much. I, I don't really need that. I know that they're a football team. So what about you? Um, I really like how, like... It's a flag because it reminds me of like a boat flag. Yeah. Because like yeah, they're in Florida, so there's a lot of water and a lot of boats. Boats, and yeah. Stuff. Very nice. So it reminds me of like a boat flag and stuff. And like the skeleton, I don't really like the skeleton as much, but why don't you like the skeleton? Um, it's just kind of like it doesn't make sense for Tampa Bay. Well, like skull and crossbones, buccaneers, pirates, are. No. It doesn't doesn't really make doesn't sense. Doesn't do anything for you. Okay. All right, fair enough, fair enough. The football, I like the football that represents their football team. Okay. And that way nobody else can really steal their logo. Ah, uh, that's a good point. Because that's there a is good point. a football on it. Like, yeah, if a hockey team was gonna try and be the Buccaneers and they tried to take this off, they couldn't really do that. I mean they could use some probably Photoshop and take that out, but nevertheless. Uh I'm gonna give it I'm giving it a seven. Um, six. <laughs> uh, yeah, of course you're not going to give it six. Oh, boy. Okay, Washington football team. Now, they've got a lot of issues in their branding world, obviously. Uh, no longer being called the Redskins. They are going to come out with a new team name, uh, so that's exciting for them. Uh, I would expect them to come out with a new logo, hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> because this one, Cal, is yeah, pretty bad. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's a just W. A w. <laughs> it's a yellow W. So, I mean, when you when you are just a football team, you got to kind of go with what you got. And uh, right now, they're in a transition, so we'll we'll cut them a break. I'll go with a three. Um, two. Okay. There's not much to There's it. There's not much to it. Just they did like they did create some angles. Arrows. Yeah, they got yeah, two angles. It. They're going forward. They're, maybe it's the sign that they're moving forward. They're you know progress is being made on this logo. Even going backwards well i think they're going forwards because you, you got it going from kind of left to right you know and the wind and all that all right we're on to the afc how about that uh so we've got the afc teams we're going to start alphabetically again so this will be the baltimore ravens Ooh. i'm going four here there's a there's too much going on for me yeah um i really don't like the like the there's too much gold. Gold, yeah. Sense. The they, B. I, I can do without the B. I, I think they, they probably would have looked a lot more like the Eagles if they got rid of the B, but maybe they could have like integrated the B into the logo a little bit less um, B, by making it a little more subtle. This is pretty strong B. So yeah. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go like three here. Like there's I, too many feathers and like stuff going on by his nose. I don't know. <laughs> like the eye it makes it look kind of kind of weird yeah and i think it's a little orangey too i think they went with a little orange yeah. eye so and that's again adding another color into this logo they really didn't need so there you go yeah what are you going with the number on this one um four four okay uh buffalo bills next uh this one's been around a long time so i'll give him credit for that uh the bills team has also been really bad for a long time so maybe it is time for an upgrade but i believe they were pretty good this year. They are, yeah. This year, this year they've got a good team, but they've also, you know, they've got a long history of losing in Super Bowls. Are you aware of that? No. No. See, that's what happens when you talk to a ten-year-old. They really don't have a historical perspective. Uh, so I will go with. I, I like what they're trying to do here. Uh, I'll go five. What does the red thing do? The it's red showing thing? you motion. It's kind of showing you motion, moving forward. It's coming off of his horn slash eye. He doesn't have a really defined eye, which is kind of a problem for me. I agree the red mark is kind of random. Yeah, it's 
it's like. But what if there was no red mark? It would probably look even worse. I mean, it would just look kind of back to the lion's thing. It would kind of look like a blue blob of paint. Yeah, but I mean, they could probably adjust it to get out the red thing. They adjust it a little. Right. Or or do something that maybe said, like, buffalo or, or like, a bee or something to kind of make it a little more distinct. Mm. Okay. So, what are you giving it? Um, I really don't like the red mark. <laughs> you a... really don't like the red mark. I can tell. Four. Oh, okay. Mm, sorry about that, Bills. All <laughs> right. Uh, so we've got the Cincinnati Bengals coming up next. They've got some good things going on because they've got the B for Bengals. Uh, they've got the uh, black marks that make it look like a Bengal, like a tiger. Uh, they also have the white filling of the B. I'm not a big fan of that. It kind of takes away from the logo, but I can see what they're trying to do. It does have the white outline. I'm going to go with like a four on this. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of like the, where they placed the lines doesn't really make sense because the middle line is going through the is white. going through the white. Yeah. Like today I was making an art project and... Like, we were, like, I was putting, like, tape, like, through the hole okay. in the art project. And it was, like, it was kind of weird because it was, like, going over it. Right. And, and it's so kind of distracting. Yeah. It takes away from some of the design features. Yeah. Yeah, I can see what you're saying on that. Now, you've been you've been talking a lot about outlines. They went with just, like, one white outline. Do you like that? Yes. I really like that because it looks like they took the bee and they just put it on a white background. I like the angles they used. I like I like the angles of the B in the backside, and I like how they did this kind of angled thing on the front. That's kind of unique. So anytime you have a logo and you can make it unique, that's that's important. So um, you'll actually notice that in the pliable logo. We uh, ended up putting a arrow in the middle of the P that represents the play icon for audio and video. So uh, that's something we did with the pliable logo, which Kelsey helped design. So yes, yes. Uh, so let's talk about the Cleveland Browns. When you look at this, Kels, what do you see? Just a random helmet. <laughs> I, I don't blame you, and it's also not brown, right? I mean, you, you look at it, and they're called the Browns, and you're like, yeah. why is this not a brown helmet, right? Mm -hmm. Well, what's interesting about the Browns, they actually had some um, developments on how they were going to name their team, and what actually happened is they had a, a fan contest way back at the start of their 1945 season. And what happened was fans wanted to call them the Cleveland Panthers. Would you want the Carolina Panthers. I know, but the Carolina Panthers weren't around back then. So you wouldn't know that. You're 10. I understand that. But what's important to know is that they actually were going to be called the Panthers, but they ended up calling the team name after their first head coach, which was Paul Brown, who was very well known already in the state of Ohio. He had won a national championship. So they named really the team after him. And rather than put his face on the side of the helmet, <laughs> <laughs> which I think was probably a good decision, um, they then went with the orange look. And did you know they are the only NFL team to have never used a logo on their helmet, instead just opting for the color orange. Do you like that or not like that? I do not like that. You like logos, don't you? Yep. Okay, so what would you? They more represent the team. The team, yep. And what would you? What would you grade this logo, or this helmet? <laughs> Zero. Zero. Oh my goodness. I'll go one. Sorry um, to the Cleveland. Brown. Poor, poor Paul Brown. Yeah, I'll, I'll go one. And they could have made a brown helmet. They could have made a brown helmet. I agree with you completely. That would have made it a little bit better. We're on to the Denver Broncos. Now, they used to have a D logo, which was pretty good. Uh, but this here, I, this was a major upgrade when they made this change. I like it. I just don't like the, the Broncos' mouth. It also looks like his like lip or like his whole entire mouth goes like... He's got an like overbite. Halfway over his mouth. Yeah, that would be a large overbite. Uh, I feel like the eye could be stronger. It's kind of more just like a slant, and there's not really an eye here. Like so. we just said with the Carolina Panthers in the start, where they were kind of like cut, like they kind of cut it out. 
like they kind of cut. Yeah, they chop. It, it's it's yeah, a little choppy. It's a little choppy, and I I like the the flow yeah, of I the do like that. yeah the orange and the orange flow of like kind of the main there. I like that, uh, but again, it kind of just disappears. You know, it's kind of like the panther situation where they just like cut off the body. They kind of tried to make it. I mean, obviously, you can't have a full fledged bronco if you're not going to have a full fledged bronco. You got to cut it off somewhere. So. They cut it off at the neck. <laughs> Which is where they mostly cut off. We everything. didn't, by the way, we didn't grade the browns. I mean, I'm going to give it a one. It's pretty bad. Zero. Okay, zero. <laughs> uh, we got the Broncos here. So I'm going with mm, four. Um, three. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, Houston Texans. This one's interesting. I like this one. I like it. I like it. I don't like it a lot. I like it. So they've got, obviously, uh, Houston reflected with the the star. Uh, it was part of the Lone Star State, which makes sense. Uh, they've got kind of this bull look to it with the, the Texan and, and the horns of this um, bull. And then the star is meant to kind of be like an eye. And then, you know, so I can see what they're trying to do. Uh, points for creativity, four. Like, they could have put two stars. Two stars then. for eyes? Yeah. Yeah, they're the lone star state, so that that's why there's only one star. But I, I can see what you're saying. Or at least put it in the middle. Oh, so okay. it looks like there's, like, a one-eyed... Like a spread out, yeah. Like... A one-eyed monster. <laughs> okay, well... It also looks like it's popping out. Like oh, it like its like eyes popping out? It's coming out of the page. Okay. Like, if you had it on a flat piece of paper... It looks like it's popping right, out. Right, so the there's page. some good depth to this logo. I agree with you. The way they angled it, it, it there's definitely some depth. So that's good. Um, six. Six. Wow. I didn't expect it to get that high from you. That's nice. Uh, Indianapolis Colts. That's a lot of tradition there. So careful with this one. I mean, obviously, this does reflect a colt by having a horseshoe. Uh, a colt is, you know, a horse. You know that, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's good to know. Good feedback for the Colts. Uh, that. You know, people understand that, so I like that. And it's a horseshoe, and it's blue, and it goes pretty well with what they're trying to do and their history. They haven't changed it, obviously. I'm going to go six. It just kind of just, like, it's kind of, like, boring. I would have liked to see something else. <laughs> like, a little bit better. Like it's a horse? Do you want to see like, a horse? we got a lot of horses in the league. We just went over the Broncos. Yeah, like, it's kind of just, like, a boring like anybody can find a picture of a horseshoe yeah that's true it's not really like but but what about the fact if you see a horseshoe you might think about the colts i mean that that's also true yeah i mean i guess so by keeping it pretty generic they might get some extra benefit out of that okay we're on to, so we're on to the jacksonville jaguars uh there's a lot going on here uh the jaguar look is good i think i'm never i've never been sold on the turquoise tongue I was just about to say, <laughs> that's kind of really weird. Yeah. The nose is turquoise. This is well, the yeah. Eyes the turquoise. eyes are turquoise, yeah. They did a little bit too much with the turquoise. Well, yeah, a little overboard in the turquoise. Other than that, I really like it. I think it actually looks really good. Um, I would have liked to have seen some teeth in the back, though. It just looks like he has front like, teeth, yeah. Front teeth, mm. that's it. All right, so I'm going to go seven. Six. Uh, Kansas City Chiefs, what do we think here? The arrow with the K and the C. I think they executed the two-letter approach much better than San Francisco did. I still think it looks like the San Francisco one more because it's over. I know, but they did a better job in this case because it, it flows better. They got the C to come in with the K. It also kind of looks like a drawing almost, like the black border and the outline. outline. That's because it's an arrow. It's supposed it, to be like a, you know, like... It doesn't really look like... It just looks wavy. And it's meant to be an arrowhead. Like, you know how, like, Indians used arrowheads to, like, shoot bow and arrows and stuff? But it just looks like... It looks of... like someone might have just doodled it. Yeah. Okay. All right. I can see where you're saying that. I, I, I like it. It's been a long tradition. I'll go five. Five. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, Raiders. The Las Vegas Raiders. This one has the shield. It's got the raider head. He's got two swords behind him. Which kind of look like ears to me. Okay, yeah, I could see that. Um, what do you... And then he's got, obviously, an eye patch. So... He reminds me of a pirate. 
Oh, yeah, I could see that. So I think overall execution-wise here, I mean, six, seven, seven. I'll go seven even on the Raiders. I like the shield. I think that he looks like a pirate. Uh-huh. So I'll give them a five. Okay. Yeah, you think he looks more like a pirate than a raider? Yeah. Well, raiders are kind of meant to be aggressive and mean and all that. But I can see, I can see what you're saying. All right, Los Angeles Chargers. Okay, so I really like what they did here, especially with, like, their tagline thing. They so we have that we have the um bolt and then like there's like the the their slogan thing is like their tagline thing is bolt it bolt it which kind of represents that logo the bolt yeah with the charger and the lightning mm -hmm. bolt I, I like that uh I like the thing that it's like a chargers and they're like full of energy and you've got a lightning bolt I also really like how this looks when it's on a helmet like because the curvature goes like over the helmet very nicely versus if you just had like a lightning bolt it wouldn't really look as good so I really like that they made that angle I like how it looks um as a bent lightning bolt I think they did a nice job I'll go I'll go I'll go like six here it's very simplistic well, I love the LA Chargers. Yes, They're you do. One of my favorite yep. teams. Yep, SoFi in Stadium. Yep, yep. So I think I'll have to go eight. <laughs> wow, <laughs> and eight! Holy smokes, that's amazing! Wow, see now this I is really a good. I really like bolted up. That's you like the bolted up tagline. Mm -hmm. I understand, but the other thing I think is a really good lesson here for people is this is really simplistic. This is you know we've seen a lot of like complicated logos. We've seen eyes. We've seen like feathers. We've seen a lot of stuff. This logo itself, being so simplistic, really gets um, some some good grades from us. And and sometimes simple is good, you know. So, yep. all right, we got the Miami Dolphins. Uh, Miami Dolphins here. You know, we've got the sun in the background. We've got the dolphin. You know, swimming across. This is also fairly traditional. They upgraded this logo a few years ago. I like it. I mean, obviously, teal down in Miami makes a lot of sense. You got a dolphin that's teal. Uh, you got the sunshine. I, I like this logo. I mean, I think it's very good. I, I would give this a seven and a half. Well, I don't like how they put a white thing in the middle of the sun. And you want that all they orange, don't you? Orange, yeah, it would look orange. better with like that actual dolphin. Like orange on yeah. teal would look better than white on teal. I worried about what they were gonna see. See, if you get the orange behind it, you lose the dolphin. That's what that's what they were probably trying to avoid. So they wanted the white to allow the dolphin to come through. The other thing it kind of looks like, I'm actually noticing this kind of for the first time, is that it kind of looks like it's splashing out of the water. Or out of the sun. Almost. Or out of the sun, or across the sun, and uh, there's a lot there. So actually, I, I, that's growing even on me more. So I like that, and... Seven. Seven for you, okay. Uh, New England Patriots. New England Patriots. I think the New England Patriots have done a very nice job. They upgraded uh, from their, like, 1960s original logo with a Patriot hiking a football. They upgraded this logo, and it is much better. The team has actually performed much better. And interestingly enough, when you rebrand a team, it's interesting what you can do. Essentially, too, with you know rebranding a company or giving your employees a new look, it can really energize uh, your employees or you know anybody. It can also energize or give your customers kind of a new look. And of course, with obviously a new logo, you're going to sell a lot more apparel, which they've definitely done. This is a really nice logo. I like this one a lot. It's looking for Forward. You've got the Patriot, which obviously dates back uh, to the times uh, with Paul Revere and, and all the things in the history uh, in New England uh, and Independence. So I, I like what they did. Um, I also remember we talked about fading. I like that they didn't fade the blue like into the red. I like that there's a line there. It kind of creates some depth. The eye is the only piece that I would probably change with that. You could probably make that an actual eye, but it's okay if it doesn't. If the sideburns are important. That's reflecting the history and the Patriots. So I give it a, I'm going to give it, I'm going to give it a nine. Well, I kind of just noticed something. Okay. Because on the bottom, it looks like there's almost a face. The bottom almost looks, well, there is a face. Yeah. 
What did you think it was before? I don't know. I just, I thought that it was like a little like nose and mouth. Oh, okay. So you're now seeing the full face. Yeah. Oh, we'll see now that I've explained it. Well, and again, that's something too to notice is that when you see a logo up close, like sometimes when you're watching the games, you really can't see the helmets that close. Yeah. So, so looking at logos up close is different than looking at them from far away. So that's something also teams need to think about. It's like how it looks from far away. So, uh, so that's that one. We've also now we're gonna move on to the Jets. Uh, this one's this one's very traditional, but I think it's very bad. So, um, f- three. I really like how they shaped it into a football. Oh, okay, you like the oval approach. Yeah. yeah, it's not a real oval. It's actually I see what you're saying. It is more of a football. They've also got the football inside the logo, so it's like a double football. I I feel like there should be an airplane. I, I mean, I'm looking for a jet. I'm looking for something to move fast. It's not there. I'd give this a six. Okay, that's fair. That's that's high for you. Uh, okay, Pittsburgh Steelers. What do we got here? I, I mean, obviously, steel. They've reflected that with the colors of the the yellow and the red and the blue. Uh, they've got the word Steelers in there, and they've got then, of course, the silver around the edge. Very traditional. This has not changed. What do you think about this logo? I think that it's good. It almost reminds me of like one of those little things that, like you put on your shirt and it's like a, like a pin. Oh, okay. And then you can like put like through your shirt and then like it's like a little pin. Like an emblem. So you like the full circle too. Like you yeah. like the symmetry of the circle. I like the symmetry of the circle as well. And I like I like the points on the on the uh, yellow and the the red and the blue. So and I like that they put Steelers in there. So I mean I'm willing to give that a the seven. I mean I really am. Six and a half. Six and a half, okay. Uh, the final one is the Tennessee Titans, uh, one of Kelsey's favorite teams. Because and of Derrick Henry. Derrick Henry, absolutely. He's on your fantasy team. So Tennessee Titans, um, I like their colors. Um, so that plays a role for me. I like what they did with the sword, uh, making the T a sword. Yeah. And then I like the stars around it for Tennessee. Uh, I like the flames coming off. Uh, that's kind of a cool feature. Yeah. The only the only thing I don't like is like why is the T on fire? Why is the circular T on fire? It almost looks like like in like a like one of those like balls that like is flying through the through space. Like a fireball. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. It's like they kind of went two different directions. They went with like the fireball, but then they went with the Titan. And they did a little mix of both. So, um, all right. So I'm going to give this one uh, eight. So my highest ranked one was the Patriots. So what are, what are you giving the Titans? Um, five. Five. Okay. I thought you might have gone higher there. Okay. All right. Well, my that's... My favorite was the Chargers. The Chargers. Yep, it was. And again, we both picked the Chargers as a very simplistic look. Uh, I went with the Patriots. Again, fairly simple on their logo as well. But I think that one lesson that we can all take away from this today is that sometimes simple is better. And uh, so that's important to know, especially when you're designing your logo. And if you'd like to design your logo, you can call Pliable Marketing at pliablemarketing.com or call 707-PLIABLE and we can hook you up with a good logo. As you've heard today, we take logos very seriously. So uh, my business advisor, Kelsey, I want to say thank you very much uh, for joining us for this episode. You are one of the youngest podcasters uh, I have ever met. Uh, You are also the youngest podcaster to ever appear on the Athlete Brand Advisor podcast, so congratulations. (laughs) You're clapping for yourself, very nice. Uh, And so then I want to also uh, give you a chance to say anything else uh, that you'd like to add here today. Um, My favorite logo is the Chargers. (laughs) My favorite teams are the Chargers and the Titans. Okay, and you want to go to SoFi Stadium? Yes. yes That's I... why I really like the Chargers is because of where they play. I know that people could say that I could like the Rams because they play in the same stadium. True. Which you do like the Rams too. Yes, you do. I do like the Rams too, but I like the Chargers more. I like their logo more, and I like their um, tagline thing more. Right. Let's end with this. The Rams on the fade or the no fade, people? We want to hear from you. Do you like the fade from white to yellow or do you not like the fade from white to yellow so send us your feedback send us your comments if you have any guest ideas for the show also do that you can send us an email at pliable marketing at gmail.com we'd love to hear from you we always thanks for listening to the athlete brand advisor podcast 
Be sure to check out the show notes from today's episode and catch up on recent episodes at pliablemarketing.com. We also encourage you to share topics and guest ideas by emailing our production staff at pliablemarketing at gmail.com. We love hearing from our loyal listeners and athletes who want to grow their brand. So jump in and be part of the podcast because that's how we roll. 